chasing opportunities in life? So passe. A business colleague of mine posted this meme on Facebook the other day. Dreams times goals times learning times plans times actions equals success. Well, at first glance, it seemed logical, but something snarky was welling up inside of me and I couldn't resist. I commented, seems so complicated. Instead, how about dreams times action equals success? This formula my business partner posted as part of what I call the worker bee syndrome. You dream something up, make it a goal, then educate yourself about how to get there, make a bunch of plans, and then, only then, take action. Equals God's laughing. <laughs> Why not just go from what you like to see happen, your dreams, to taking action to get there, success? In some cases, having a dream is all that's needed. How many times have you wanted something to happen and it just did without you doing anything? But we seem to want to jump immediately to planning, learning, goal setting, and success formulas. You know what? Most of that stuff is the universe's job. When we take it over, we end up working our asses off and success seems to wander further and further out into the future. Much of this is cultural memes we've made our own. You gotta work hard for what you want, or nothing valuable in life is ever easy, or no pain, no gain, or even God helps those who helps themselves, etc., etc. These memes nullify personal power and ignore the proven fact that the universe really does have your back, and it constantly is working on your behalf, even when you try to do its job. The harder you work at something, the more personal power you invalidate. You think there's something you're not doing somehow, or don't know how to do, so you bash your head against the wall repeatedly, trying to come up with answers, when all along the universe has had all the answers, and is ready to give them to you as well as the dream you seek, if you just shut up and receive. There's a word I love, pronoia was coined by the Grateful Dead songwriter Perry Barlow. It means the awareness that the universe is working on your behalf. Conjure up a dream, or vision, I prefer. Now ask, what is it going to take for this vision to become physical reality? You'll start getting some information as a result of that question. Ignore it. Now ask, what action can I take for this vision to actualize in my life? Watch what pops into your head over the next half hour or so. These are the things the universe would like you to do in order to receive your dream. You see, because you asked, it's already there. It's just our beliefs or judgments or conclusions that it is not there that keeps us from receiving it. We get what I call time pollution. That's when you ask for something to show up and then time transpires, Sometimes it seems like forever. And it pollutes your self-esteem and personal power. You think you have to start working really hard. No, you just need to welcome what you ask for into your life. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be fun. If it's not, then you're asking the wrong questions or have gotten trapped into seeking for answers. Or you have an agreement with and attachment to those cultural memes that are running you telling you to work harder for what you desire. Put what desires you do have out there. Then open your arms and heart to welcome these new things that you desire into your life. Observe how things begin to change in that direction. Follow that energy. Ask what actions, if any, you can take in the meantime. And, lo and behold, what it is you desire will begin to show up. Yes, it's magic. You're welcome. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com.